Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the weekly contest to 14 minimum deletions to make out this frequency unique. So this one requires a little bit of thinking and and also a little bit of just thinking about the complexity of the problem. So for me, it turns out that how I solved it was just using greedy. And, you know, greedy is a really, you know, whatever term. So you have to think of a way, you know, there are a lot of different greedy algorithms is what I'm saying. And it, you could easily stumble into the wrong one. So what I did is first, I look at the the collections of... Um, uh, I, I, yeah, I look at the collections. Uh, um, so I count for each character. I count the number of appearance in that counter, right? And then I, I put in values and then I sort it. It doesn't actually matter. Uh, and after I sort it, so basically, you're gonna get, oops, you're gonna get some counts. I'm gonna, sh uh, I'm gonna show this here, for the test cases, for example. So yeah, so you have these uh, counts that you can do stuff with, right? And the thing to notice is that why does greedy work? And it's not even greedy in a way. It's just you can, as long as you can make a change, you should make a change, and then that will be good. And that's the kind of greedy that you can implement that in different ways. And why is why does that why is that good, right? I could I'll go over that in a second. That's yeah, maybe this is a good example. So for example, if you have this array, um, well, you notice that the three are different, right? So you, you, let's change it to two, right? Okay, that, and twos are, are the same, so we have to change one of the two. So it's one, two, three. So that that's two moves, right? Another another path, if you think about it, is two, three, three, and you go. Okay, I know that I need the three, so let's change the two to the one, and then change the one to a two. Oh, oh sorry, change the three to a two. Right? It's also two moves. So I would argue that no matter what you do, um, what you do, you're gonna get the same number of moves, and that's the way to solve this problem. That observation. Maybe you could guess it, uh, and the proof is around that when you remove one of the threes, for example, and you, you know, you're forced to do it, right? Because otherwise, you, you know, you, um, you're forced to do it because otherwise, you, you know, the invariant is not true, which means that, uh, you, the character frequency has to be unique, right? And if you don't do this, then it will never be unique. So you have to do it to one of them, right? And then that you get this, and you could do it by um, induction or whatever. And in this case, you also need to change one of the twos. But the key thing to notice here is that coming from here, going to here, it doesn't matter which twos you change it to. So as long as you change it to two ones, that'll be good enough. And then, well, okay. So let's say that, you know, let's say we're convinced that that gives us the good answer. The second thing to notice is, oh, wow, n, is equal, or n could be as long as 10 to the fifth. So what is the complexity? Can this be too long? Well, the thing is that, I mean, I even sorted it, though actually it doesn't really matter. You don't even need to sort it, to be honest. So let's, we could just ignore the sort for now. Um, but let's say we have a value of, of the frequencies, right? So this is O of N because we have to look at each character at least once to generate the table. But also you just have to look at each character once no matter what algorithm you use. Otherwise, you're going to miss some characters uh, because there's no structure to it, right? Like, you know. So, but after this... Well, what happens after this, right? Well, count is an array of at most 26 characters, one for each letters of the alphabet, right? So, so actually what happens is that in, in the worst case scenario, in the worst case scenario, you have 26, 26, 26, 26, uh, and you could go backwards, right? What's the worst case scenario for two characters, right? It's going to be two, two. What's the worst case scenario for three characters? Three, 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 right? Uh, what's the worst case scenario for four characters? Well, four, four, four. Four, four, right? And so forth, dot, 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 all the way to 26, 26, 26, dot, 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 26, right? So, and, you know, and you could kind of do the math. I I'm going to tell you the math, which is that in one, in 25 steps, you can make this 126 and then 25, 25s, right? dot 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 25 so that that takes 25 steps and then 24 steps and then 23 steps and then so forth so that means that in the worst case this is going to take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 plus 26 steps which is equal to roughly 26 squared i mean you could do 26 choose 2 or whatever or 26 
plus one time, 26 times, 26 plus, uh, 26 times 26 plus one over two. 26 times 27 over 2, right? N times N plus 1 over 2. So you can definitely do that to do the math. But I'm just giving you a, you know, a big O notation, right? And as you can see, this is the worst case scenario. So that is always going to give you a good enough answer. And what is the complexity of this? If you want to have to put it in concrete big O terms, well, this is O of N. This is O of alpha square. So that means that this entire algorithm is going to be O of N plus alpha square, where alpha is the number of alphabets uh, or letters in the alphabets. And I don't, and just to go over my code really quickly, I just use a set to keep track of um, whether a, a frequency is used so that like, for example, if we already used 26, don't use it. We have to keep on it decrementing until we find a good one. And as long as we find a good one, it's okay. So that's basically what I did. I did total is equal to zero. Uh, if for each of the counts, we and it's bigger than zero because if once we get to zero we fold away so that's a key thing to make sure you don't get a silly mistake on is that with zero means that the character doesn't have a frequency so it doesn't even count so as soon as you do that you just increment by total and then you add it to the set at the end and then uh and then just return the total so that's all i have for this problem it's uh, a long explanation for something that a lot of people probably solve very quickly at at the moment, about 1,500 people solved this. Uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. Uh, that was an annoying one, and I watched it. So, not great contest already. Uh, I mean, it was annoying, but not that annoying. Okay. Same frequency. What's the frequency? Yeah, okay. Ah, thanks for watching everybody. Remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and we'll chat about stuff later. Bye-bye. <laughs>